walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 In the door, make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Billy Joe Saunders out here running his mouth talking shit about motherfuckers that he ducking. That seemed to be the current trend in the sport of boxing nowadays. That's what these fighters do. They duck fighters and then they talk shit about the fighters that they ducking. You know, like the, the cowardice level has hit like an all-time high. You know, I never thought that I would see any shit like this, man. You know, world champions and shit doing this type of shit. Undefeated world champions at that. Billy Joe Saunders doing it. Triple G doing it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers doing that shit, man. What the fuck is going on in the sport of boxing? Duck a fighter and then talk shit about him. You know, if you're going to duck somebody, then why don't you just shut the fuck up? You know what I'm saying? Sit your ass down somewhere. You um you don't want to make that fight. And uh, you would prefer to fight an easier opponent. And, you know, you, you probably should just avoid talking about the fighter that you ducking, right? You know, that's what I would do if I didn't want to fight somebody. I'd be like, look, man, don't ask me no questions about Triple G. I don't want to fight him. Don't ask me no questions about Canelo. I don't want to fight him. But <laughs> that's what these motherfuckers doing, man. Billy Joe Saunders released a statement, man, about Canelo. And he said, personally, I believe I beat Canelo seven times a week and twice on Sundays. He's a good fighter. He's a good inside fighter. But I think he struggles against someone with a good boxing brain. And I think my style is all wrong for him. All wrong. I don't think they'll be keen on that fight. Billy Joe Saunders' statement. Let me tell you what Billy Joe Saunders did, man. You know, he could have had that fight secured. They offered him to fight Gabriel Rosado or Willie Monroe on the Canelo undercard, man, to the Liam Smith fight. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to fight either one of those fighters. Immediately, he said he didn't want to fight uh, Willie Monroe. You know, Willie Monroe... He was trying to be slick about getting a fight. He was like, man, look at my record. I only got six knockouts. They was like, oh, yeah, we, we're we very aware who you are. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to make that fight at all. Immediately dismissed it. They considered fighting Gabriel Rosado and then probably because he got some losses on his record. But if you look on his record, he's been in a lot of tough fights, fought a lot of top fighters. You know, and then they thought about it and then they said, no, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to make that fight. And now Billy Joe Saunders... He has a upcoming bum fight this month, October the 22nd, man. He's going to be fighting Alter Akovov, a.k.a. Wolverine. That's his nickname. And he also has like, what, a, a, a haircut like Wolverine and shit? You know, it's pretty unique, but it's also some clown-ass circus type shit. You know, what the fuck? You're, you're a prize fighter. You're not a motherfucking circus act. Fucking, you know, Hollywood cartoon character and shit. What the fuck is this shit? And um, Arthur Akovov, Wolverine, has a record of 16-1 and one with only seven knockouts. There's no chance in hell that Billy Joe Saunders is going to get caught with a shot and get stopped. And then if you look at Wolverine's record, you know, he's a fucking bum. And he's been fighting all fucking bums, you know, his whole career. You know, I mean, this is a far easier fight than the Rosado fight and the Willie Monroe fight. Like, you showing your true colors with by doing this shit, by even making this fight. You're not trying to look to prove that you the best, prove how good you are. You're looking to make the easiest possible fight. It's probably only going to be like three motherfuckers in that building, you know, because I think he was about to fight some guy like about three or four months ago and pulled out of the fight with some kind of fake injury. His excuse for pulling out of the fight was pretty ridiculous. You know, said something about, you know, beating his meat or some shit, man. And I don't even feel comfortable saying that shit. I'm just telling you what the fuck he said. That's how he said he injured himself. You know, they like, they let him get away with saying shit like that. Like, dude, if you canceling a fight, you at least try to like, you know, stick to your story and make it a good story. No, he immediately came out and said that dumb ass shit. So now he's got this fight coming up, man. And he's talking shit about Canelo. Now, I already know what time it is with Billy Joe Saunders. He's just looking to sell his belt to the highest bidder. You know, he's going to become a millionaire with that WBO title. But you know, that's if he actually, you know, make a fight. Look, man, this motherfucker had beat Andy Lee last year, December. It's October now. You know, so um, it's been quite a while, man. It's, the IBF requires you to defend your title against your mandatory every nine months. You know, not only is this guy that he's fighting not his mandatory, 
But the motherfucker ain't even a top 10 fighter even through the WBO. He's number 11 in the WBO. You know, so it's okay. They sanction it. Motherfuckers is um, pulling some strings for Billy Joe Saunders. You know, like how he don't have to fight his mandatory and he can just go and fight some random bum that's not even top 10. The fuck is going on, man? And then you're talking about Canelo, but, but they was trying to make that fight. They was trying to set that fight up. Get you a fight on the Canelo Smith undercard and then you win your fight, Canelo win his fight, and then we can see that fight next. You didn't want to do that. You didn't even want to fight Rosado or, or Monroe to set that fight up. So, Billy Joe Saunders is really holding up the middleweight division. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, he ain't even like, okay, he's coming back to fight a bum, but before this, what the fuck you been doing for 10 months straight? Just sitting on the title. Not fight nobody, not even a bum. You had a fight scheduled with a bum, pulled out with a fake injury. Now you're fighting an even worse bum. Talking shit about Canelo when they tried to make the fight. That's what I'm saying, man. These fighters, man, you know, I, I never thought that I'd see the day where I say, like, what the fuck is going on with these fighters today? You know, feeling like, make me feel like an old head. You know, because, like, back in the Oscar De La Hoya days, the, the Shane Mosley days, the Trinidad days, you know, motherfuckers fought each other. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers took chances. But if somebody didn't fight, you know, I mean, this ducking shit nowadays done got way out of hand. You know what I'm saying? But let's just say, in a case of a fighter ducking a fighter, I never thought that I would see the day where fighters start talking shit about the fighters that they ducking. It's unheard of, man. Like, I don't know if Billy Joe Saunders is ever going to fight Canelo or Triple G. He constantly talk good, right? Triple G get a fight made. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I'll fight Triple G. And um, he might be serious about fighting Triple G now after seeing what Kell Brook did against um, Triple G. You know, Kell Brook is a strong welterweight, man, but he's still a welterweight. You know, it kind of make you think, man. I mean, Billy Joe Saunders is a, a middleweight, right? And um, Kell Brook was, was piecing Triple G up even being a welterweight. So, like, does a, a, a middleweight Billy Joe Saunders hit harder than Kel, a welterweight Kell Brook? You know what I mean? That's something to think about, man. You know, they got these weight classes for a reason. But I don't even think he'll take the fight. It depends, man, if the money is right. I believe that motherfucker was offered like $2 million and he turned it down. You know, a million and a half or $2 million. I believe it was like $2 million for the Triple G fight and he turned it down. So, like, there is nothing for you to say about Triple G. Your highest payday was what? Andy Lee, 500 pounds. I mean, 500,000 pounds. That's like, you know, $750,000 American. You know, you was offered, you know, more than double that shit for Triple G. You didn't take it. It's like, and then you just sitting on this belt, not making no money with it. I don't get it. Like, why don't you just take the money, go in there, lay the fuck down. But he didn't want to do it. You know, and then with the Canelo shit, man, that was like pretty much a two fight deal. You was going to be on a co-main event. And you're going to, I mean, a Canelo fight is going to be a bigger fight than a Triple G fight. And you, you didn't want to even fight Rosado. You know what I'm saying? Who had nine losses before, you know, he would have came into that fight with nine losses. He got 10 now. You know, but still, man, you didn't want to do that, man. So, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, somebody need to, I don't know, these motherfucking sanctioned bodies need to stop having this dude back. Who's his promoter? I think um Frank Warren or some shit like that. Maybe Frank Warren got some pull. How this motherfucker could sit on a bench for 10 months and not fight, period, when you're required to defend against your IBF mandatory every nine months. You know, Kell Brook was the mandatory killer, right? Until Errol Spence came around. But what's up with Billy Joe? Like, who the fuck? He ain't nobody, man. He ain't nobody to protect. So, you know, an IBF stripped Tyson Fury. You know, a week after he won the belts because he wasn't able to defend against his mandatory. But you let Billy Joe Saunders keep his belt for 10 months while doing nothing. And then he come back and he's not even fighting a top 10 fighter through the WBO. And y'all allow this shit, man. That motherfucker might hold on to that WBO belt forever and fight nobody. Just fight every 10 months and then fight a bum. If the IBF gonna allow it. So hopefully this motherfucker make one of these fights, man. Stop talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And be about that motherfucking action. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you.